Ryan from Highland Outdoors here. Uh, we're going to talk through cleaning of a centrefire rifle. Here we've got a Howell Bravo uh, in 6.5 Creedmoor. We're going to be using Tetra gun cleaning products. First things first, safety first, last, and always. We need to make sure that the rifle is empty and unloaded, like so. So now we need to remove the cheek piece, remove the bolt, and we'll start. First thing when we're cleaning the centrefire is make sure we're using the bore guide, prevents us damaging the rifling. Uh, it's a Tetra Universal bore guide, it'll do anything from 2.2 to up to 45 caliber. So then, using a one piece rod, we get ourselves um, a patch, we get our cleaning solvents. First thing we're gonna do is use the Tetra carbon cleaner. Now my top tip for this, rather than pour the um, solvent onto the patch, if we take the lid off, we get a nice circle, we get no wastage and no spillage. So the patch goes onto the jag like so, and then we push all the way through from chamber through to muzzle. And as you can see, the first patch that's come through, very dirty. Now we'll put a few more through, and then what we do is once the, the dirt and the debris in the bore has got nicely saturated with solvents, we'll let the solvent do the work. The nice thing with the Tetra uh, carbon cleaner, you can see there that second patch is already much much cleaner. So the nice thing with the Tetra carbon cleaner is we can leave it in as long as we need. Uh, it won't damage the steel of the barrel. So we can really let the solvent do the work for us. And once we've got this uh, third patch in, we'll probably stick another one in. And then what we'll do is we'll go and make a cup of tea and we'll come back, patch out the carbon cleaner, every, all the carbon, and then after that we'll go on to attacking the, uh, the copper. So this is the last one going in now, we'll leave this for, let's say, 15-20 minutes. And as you can see already, that patch, if we compare, that's patch number 4 to patch number 1, and we can see quite a cool difference. So we'll be back in 15-20 minutes, we're going to have a cup of tea and then we're going to go on to attacking the, the copper cleaner. Okay so we're back, we've had a nice cup of tea, we let the, copper, the carbon solvent do its job. So what we'll do now is we're going to patch out the carbon solvent with some clean patches and then we'll clear any, any remaining solvent out so as we can then let the copper solvent do its thing and we'll give it a full on, thorough, thorough deep clean. So as you can see already, by leaving the solvent to do some work, it's fetched out some more, um, some more dirt from the barrel. And you'll notice I've got a piece of cloth by my bore guide that says I can wipe the, uh, the cleaning rod every time it's going through the barrel and that way we're not pushing dirt back into the barrel and it can't become an abrasive. So we'll put one more dry patch through and then what we'll do, because they're coming through nice and clean, what we'll do after that is we're going to put some Action Blaster onto a patch and you'll notice I'm, um, I'm putting the jag slightly off centre on the patches and there's a good reason for that. I'm using slightly oversized patches, so these are uh, 30 cal, uh, 35 cal patches. And as we're only using this in a, a 6.5 millimeter barrel, if we put pierce the patch slightly off centre, it makes it easier for us to um, to push the patch through the barrel. So this is now the action blaster. So this will clear out. You can hear the the squeak through. So this will now clear out any remaining uh, solvent any remaining residue uh, from our shooting session as you can see and then what we'll do we'll put one dry patch through remove any traces of the action blaster and then we're going to get on to the tetra copper solvent and once again the best thing about cleaning guns is you put the solvents in 
and let the solvents do all the work for us. So we're now on to uh, the tetra copper solvent. This has the most amazing smell in the world. You can tell I've got a little bit of a cold and this stuff will certainly help to clear that. So again, we'll give it a shake. We don't want to miss anything. This is quite a thick gel. So what this will do is with it being so thick and viscous, it will stick uh, throughout the barrel all the way, uh, all the way around it. And again, if we've got the, uh, the cloth there, it prevents any, any solvent from spilling onto our stock. We're going to put one more, uh, one more patch through with copper cleaner on, and then we'll go and get another cup of tea. So the last copper cleaner is going in. And one thing that, uh, that I like to do, as you can see again, we've just cleaned that barrel, but it's fetched out, starting already to fetch out, and you can see from the, uh, from the blue colour here, if I show you that, it's already fetching copper off uh, from the barrel. And what we'll do is we'll give the, give the muzzle a very quick wipe on the end here, and just make sure that the muzzle and the crown in particular is nice and clean and then when we come back we'll make sure that's right so so off to get another cup of tea now and we'll be back again in about 20 25 minutes and see what the copper solvent's done for us okay so whilst the copper solvent is doing its thing um, very quickly go through cleaning uh, the bolt the wonderful thing about the bolts on Howers is uh, how simple they are to, to field strip should you need it, but also how easy that makes general routine maintenance. So if we hold the bolt in our left hand, we'll hold the bolt body like so, we'll then twist and the firing pin assembly comes out like so. And what we're going to do, this, this is my own personal gun so it's, it's generally pretty clean and we're going to wipe off any excess lube, any excess dirt will come off of the, the firing pin. Uh, it's not been wet, so I'm not going to be overly fussed about spraying all the dirt out. Um, we'll give the cocking cams and the, cock, the cocking section a quick wipe, remove any lube off the rear of the, the bolt locking lugs. We'll wipe off any excess grease, like so. One thing we will do is we use one of the, the double-ended Tetra toothbrushes. As you can see there, we've got some copper on the bolt face. So we'll just give that a wipe, remove any thick bits with the brush. And then we'll go back in and give it a going over with the, the tissue paper like so. So as you can see, that's nice and clean. And what we'll do now, using uh, Tetra Dry Lube, I like this, it doesn't attract dirt and dust. We'll pop a run along the spring, some on the firing pin like so. That will go along and then reassembling the bolt is simply the reverse of what we did previously. So we put the firing pin assembly in, compress the spring and then the bolt's ready to go. We'll put some Tetra grease on the rear of the locking lugs here and we're ready to go. So next step, we'll go back to the gun and hopefully the copper solvent has done its job. Okay, so we've left our copper solvent uh, alone for a while now. So what we're gonna do is patch out the copper solvent. And you'll also remember one of the last things we did was we, we wiped the muzzle of the rifle to make sure the crown's clean. So we're going to make sure that one, all of the copper solvent has come out of the bore, like so. And as you can see, it's come out that lovely dark blue colour. And we'll make sure that we've got something to wipe, wipe the cleaning rod with, so as we're not passing the dirt through uh, through the barrel again. So. We'll put a few patches through till it starts coming out clean again. And then what we're going to do is we'll push it through with the action blaster again. And then it'll be ready for oiling and storage. 
So I'd like say the, the best way I find, the easiest way certainly, to, to clean a rifle barrel is to let the solvents do the work for you. As you can see, we're just getting the faintest trace now um, of dirt left on the patch. So what we'll do is we'll go with the Action Blaster now. Uh, the Action Blaster is wonderful. It will, it's a high pressure solvent. It degreases, it cleans, does wonders uh, for cleaning guns. And there we are, the last traces uh, are coming out of the bore. So what we'll do now, we're gonna put clean patch through and with a clean dry patch, if that goes through and comes out nice and clean, we'll be ready for oil. If not, we'll just put a couple more patches through maybe. One more patch. And then we're going to be ready for oil and getting the rifle ready for safe storage again. So that it's clean, tip top, ready to be used next time. So, the last patch, as we can see, that's lovely. Okay, so we've cleaned and degreased the bore now. What we're going to do is using the Tetra Dry Lube, so as we're not attracting any dust or dirt into the bore, we're going to push an oil patch through, like so. And then we'll push a dry patch through, so as we've, we've mopped up any loose oil. And what we'll do is, the very last thing we'll do is grease the rear lugs of the bolt. So it's just coming out lovely and clean now, it's picked up any excess oil. We're just going to give the crown a quick wipe with the back of the last clean patch we put through. And we've made sure we've wiped off any solvents off of the crown. So that's nice and clean. So last thing we do, we'll remove the kitchen roll, remove the bore guide with some Tetra grease. We'll apply a small amount to the rear locking surface of the bolt lugs, like so. And that way, if the temperature gets warm, or if we shoot some hot loads, we've got the extra protection of having greased our bolt lugs. So, bolt in on the KRG Bravo stock, cheap piece back in. We'll set that for proper height, and now the gun's ready for, for safe storage. So the inside of the rifle's clean now. The last thing we're going to do is just wipe over the metal work. And again, because I like it, we're going to use the Tetra Dry Lube. And all we're going to do is just wipe over the barrel where we've been handling the gun. Like so, so we'll wipe it on. And then one area that um, I often forget is the cocking piece at the rear of the rifle. So we'll give that a wipe too. So the rifle is ready for safe storage. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, like and share, comment, tag your friends in who need to clean their rifles. The Tetra Gun Cleaning products are available from your local gun shop or from tetragun.co.uk.